This video is going to be a quick map guide to interchange. We're going to try and fit in as much as possible in as short a time as possible. I want to get you going on the map as quickly as I can. You can get straight into raid. You know the flow of the map. You'll know the hot zones for PvP. You'll know where to go, where to avoid. And hopefully it'll improve your experience on interchange. The interchange raid time is 45 minutes. There's generally 10 to 14 players on the map and the boss for this map is killer. Interchange has some specific map mechanics. It's all to do with the power to the mall. In order to loot the high level gear inside that mall, power needs to be turned on, which is located at the power station. And that enables players with the keys to certain high value stores to go into the center of the mall and loot those stores. When you turn the power on, if you check your extracts, there is a safe room extract and that will turn green when the power at the power station has been turned on. Some of the other map locations you need to know, we've got the railway extract. We've got the Emicom extract. The parking garage, which is underneath the mall. We've got the main mall itself. I won't cover all the locations. We'll talk about some later as well. But the three main stores that you can use to navigate is Idea in the north, Goshan in the east, and Ollie in the south. There's also a second floor to the center area of the mall. The good thing is you can use all of those store names as call outs if you are playing in a squad or a duo. So I want to go straight to spawns. What you're going to see very early on is a big rush to the center of the mall. Pretty much no matter where you spawn, there's going to be people to your left and to your right rushing into the mall. So the biggest piece of advice I can give you, clear your spawn early and then give it five minutes before you head into the mall. I'll talk about some specific spawns. So in Emicom, be very careful if you get the spawns around this southeast corner because there's a spawn on top of the ramp at Ollie and the player up there is going to do one of two things. They're either going to rush straight into the mall because they've got one of the closest spawns or they're going to turn around off that ramp and they're going to look straight at you. Be very careful. Expect PvP early if you spawn in this corner. If you get the spawn near Scav Camp, be very careful of the spawn directly south of you. So get into some hard cover immediately if you get that spawn. Over to the power station in the northeast. If you get this spawn, you can relax for a very brief moment. Go inside. There are some seriously good GPU tech spawns in the office area of that power station. Check those for a GPU and then turn the power on and get out of there. Now, finally, the spawns up near the railway extract. If you're a new player and you get one of these spawns, head west to the fence line and loot the hidden caches. There's five hidden caches down there, so you can spend a good five minutes picking up some decent loot from those hidden caches, and then you can decide to head into the mall, and that should have cleared the whole rush to the mall stage of interchange. So now we've talked about the spawns, let's talk a bit about the loot, because the PvP hot zones are all centered around the high value loot. So up on screen now, I've drawn a basic overview of where the good loot is located in Interchange. I don't think you'd get as much value knowing the individual store locations and loot spot locations as to see in the bigger picture. And that's what I want to focus on here, the big picture. So if you look at this map, what I want you to get is those highlighted locations are high risk locations. They're the locations that experienced players are going to go to try and grab the loot. So particularly that center area of the mall highlighted is the highest risk location for you to travel to. If you're going there while you're new to the game, I advise that you leave it at least 20 minutes before heading into that location. Let the players that are specifically going into those locations for the loot, grab what they need and get out of there before you head in there. And you're probably going to survive more raids heading into the center of that mall by taking that approach, at least while you're new to the game, while you're learning the map. So you've spawned, you made it into the mall, you've got your loot, you've done your quest, now you want to extract. For PMCs, there's six extracts, although I would advise you to ignore scav camp. That's a PMC scav extract, so while you're learning the game, you could quite easily get popped by a scav that's not friendly. And the safe room extract requires a key card. There's going to be several million rubles. 
Then we've got the power station. There's a vehicle extract there. The vehicle doesn't always spawn, but if it does, it costs 5,000 rubles. Next, I'm going to talk about hole in the fence. It's a no backpack exit. You have to drop your backpack to use the hole in the fence extract. This is, in my opinion, the safest extract to use. It's very close to the mall. People generally don't go there. So if you're questing, you've got some quest items and you have to survive, hole in the fence is definitely a safe extract to use. These two extracts are Emicom and Railway. Both of these extracts depend on where you spawn in the map. And there are some funny spawns where you'll expect to get Railway, but you've actually got Emicom. I've made a mistake in the past. I've gone to Emicom. I should have gone to Railway, and then I've had to cross the entire map to get to the right extract. So make sure before you head to those two extracts, you actually check that you have them. I'm not going to lie. It's possible to get extract camped at both of these extracts. Generally, Emicom is the worst of the two. I don't think it's particularly bad, but I see a lot of posts on Reddit complaining about extract campers on interchange. So when you head into either of these two extracts, don't just run directly there over the shortest route. Stick to the fences when you're trying to get to both of these extracts. Stay alert all the way until you're actually out of the map. So before we finish, I'm going to mention a couple of quick things. Hidden caches, check out the video if you want to know all the locations. And I've got a couple of money run guides coming up for hidden stashes. Secondly, boss for the map is Killer. The spawn locations have changed. He now spawns across the mall in different spots. Killer is a seriously hard boss to fight. And honestly, do not try and kill Killer while you're learning the game. As soon as he sees you, he's going to aimbot you. And you're going to die before you even know that it's Killer. I guarantee that's going to happen. So when you're going through the spots marked up on the map, just be a little bit careful. And also, if you're moving through interchange and you hear distinctive bursts of an RPK, that should be a little bit of a warning to you that Killer might be on the map. And you might want to avoid the locations of that sustained RPK fire. That's all I've got for you today. Hopefully this is going to improve your raids on Interchange, get you going on the map. And honestly, if you're struggling with Interchange, it's a very tough map in Escape from Tarkov. A lot of experienced players have played thousands of hours on this map. They know all the angles and you're going to have a tough time. Stick with it. Once you get used to the layout, Interchange becomes a much more fun map to experience and play. Thanks very much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, recommend the content to anyone you know if they're struggling and yeah look forward to more videos